All right, so, okay, now tell me about algorithms. Let's start with something simple, fixed window rate limiting. Explain it. Ah, yes, fixed window, super easy. You basically take time and chop it into neat windows. Each window has a limit and a counter that increases with each request, like five requests per 10 seconds. If user sends five requests in that window, cool, they're allowed. More than five, rejected. After 10 seconds, the counter recessed to zero, and now it can handle five more requests in the next 10 second window. So what happens if the user sends five requests at nine seconds and then another five at 11 seconds? Oh, so they basically sneak in 10 requests in two seconds. That's unacceptable. I think the sliding window log algorithm can help here. Can you explain that? Sliding window log is all about keeping a record of each request timestamp per user. For example, we allow five requests in a 10 second window. Let's say the first request comes at one second. We store that timestamp. Then three, five, seven, eight, all good because the window isn't full yet. But a request at nine seconds will be rejected because the five timestamps in the window are already occupied. If a request comes at 12 seconds, we slide the window forward to two 12 seconds and drop all timestamps older than two seconds. This way we remove the boundary problem. That's a really good approach, but it's slow and heavy because it has to save and clean up every request you make. Yeah, that's bad. Oh, wait, I have one more idea. It's like a mix of fixed window and sliding log. It blends some of the previous interval with the current one to estimate how many requests happen in the window. Yes, that's the sliding window counter algorithm. We'll talk about it in the next video. See ya.